Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist here at Thanksgiving Point. Today, we're breaking down all the different types of bugs. We all know what a bug is, right? Like you go in your backyard, you roll over a log, or you look on your plants and you find a ladybug, but what exactly is a bug? Bugs are arthropods, and they make up like 96% of all animals on the entire planet. They all have their bones on the outside of their body, unlike us, they have an exoskeleton, they have jointed legs like a suit of armor, and they all grow bigger by shedding their skin. That's called molting. Within all of the bugs, there is a few major classifications, and for the most part, these are called classes. So let's look at the dominant class of animals on the entire planet, the insects. Insects make up the vast majority of all species on the entire planet, especially beetles. Beetles are the most abundant animals on the planet. Something like 30 something percent of every single species is a beetle. So if you look up close, you'll see six legs, one, two, three pairs, three on each side. They've got a head and then they have a thorax where the legs attach. They've got an abdomen on the back. This beetle is covering them back up. And most insects have four wings, like butterflies have four wings, dragonflies have four wings, mayflies, all of these different things have four wings. But with beetles, that uh, front pair of wings is really hard. And like if you see a, a ladybug crawl up on your finger and spread that shell and then fly away, that's actually its front pair of wings. That's very shield-like, and they only fly with their back set of wings. Okay, so next up are the arachnids. Now, if you suffer from arachnophobia, you're probably scared of spiders, right? But technically, you should be afraid of all arachnids, and that would include things like daddy long legs and scorpions and ticks and mites and other weird things like that. Arachnids have eight legs rather than six legs. They've got two major body segments rather than three. They have simple eyes rather than compound eyes. No wings, no antennae. That's an arachnid. If you're looking at this thing right now, and this is a big old scorpion, this is an emperor scorpion, and I do not advise picking up scorpions. I just have a lot of experience with them. If you're looking at this guy, you might say, okay, so it's got eight legs, and then it's got those big old pinchers in the front. Are those things legs? They're not, those are called pedipalps. Now with spiders, if you look at them, like really big spiders like tarantula, you might think they have 10 legs. It's only eight legs plus their pedipalps. Their pedipalps look like legs rather than pinchers. Different types of arachnids have different shaped pedipalps, but they all have pedipalps. So insects are way more numerous and diverse than arachnids, but there's still a whole bunch of arachnids. There's about 60,000 species of arachnids, but over 50,000 of those are spiders. So insects come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and flavors, and they eat basically everything there is to eat on the planet. Arachnids are strictly carnivores, except for a really weird species of jumping spider that's an herbivore. Arachnids only eat meat. Next up, we've got the many-legged critters, things like millipedes. Let's check out some millipedes. Now, if you've seen the other videos, you might have seen these before. A real crowd pleaser. These are the giant African millipedes. And if you look at this, look at all those legs. They have four legs per body segment, two pairs of legs per body segment. These guys can have over 400 legs. That's a whole lot of legs. They also have antennae, whoop, and they have compound eyes. If you look up close, look at that. These are gorgeous animals. Now, closely related to these are the centipedes. I probably would not pick up a centipede because unlike millipedes, centipedes are venomous. They have venomous front legs and they punch you and inject you with venom when they do it. Okay, so there's one more major group of arthropods that we want to talk about and it includes the roly-poly. What on earth is a roly-poly? Believe it or not, roly-polies are crustaceans. That's our last group of arthropods we're talking about. Crustaceans are things like lobsters and crabs, and believe it or not, roly-polies. Believe it or not, there's a whole bunch of different types of roly-polies. Some of them look like Dalmatians, some of them are bright orange, some of them get big, but these guys are dwarf white isopods, and they're some of the cutest little guys around. They're super cute, they dig through the soil, they eat rotting vegetation, and they're actually really good for your soil. Isopods are good to have around. There's other roly-polies that actually live in the mouths of fish, parasitize the fish, and function as their tongue. They live in the mouth of the fish and actually live as the fish's tongue. Roly-polies are way cooler than we give them credit for. All right, guys, that about does it for today. We just learned about different groups of arthropods that makes up like 96% of all animals on the entire planet. That's a lot to do in just a few minutes. So if you like this video, please like the video. Share it with your friends so all your friends can learn about these creepy little bugs as well, which I love. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below. We'll get to it when we can. Or just show up, because here at the Butterfly Biosphere, we cannot wait to teach you about these critters.